When I ask the other film students about the occupation of Palestine, I always get sarcastic answers and they start to avoid me. I begin to feel lonely and isolated. I really worry that no one will talk to me anymore. I asked my mom about the anti-Semitic campaigns in Poland during the late 60s. She said that all the Jews had the opportunity to leave the country. It was said that they were going to Israel and that it was excessive to call the campaigns anti-Semitic. Then she remembered when her family lived in a town outside of Warsaw and her brother was bullied and called a Jew. They'd taunt him and say, you're a Jew, so soon we don't have to see you anymore. The year 1884, the Jews in Eastern Europe don't have a future where they live. If they want to seek for dignity, they have to seek an entity for themselves, reclaiming the land. Each day is packed with activities, lectures, trips to art museums and outings to national parks and the beach. In the evenings, there are film screenings and parties. You are a partner and it doesn't matter where you live. Someone in Eris Israel is reclaiming the land for settlement. This is often to use all around the world. Even though they are educated. It's, it's brainwash. What is this? I didn't know we were going to have this. I've heard this all my life and I'm so sick of it. This is keeping old stuff just fresh and infected. Using all around the world. The festive party atmosphere and the nearby occupation of the West Bank are in stark contrast. Just around the corner, the siege of Gaza has caused a humanitarian crisis. Under these circumstances, the last thing I want to do is party. Even though I don't discuss Palestine anymore, hardly anyone talks to me on the bus. I'm always alone. Apparently, this isn't uncommon. One Israeli film student tells me about a classmate who was ostracized for being an activist. I really want to learn about the places we go to, but no one tells us anything. Even though there is rubble everywhere, the guides don't tell us about the fact that the national parks were built on top of Palestinian villages that were destroyed. Now it's important that all of you use these. It's very important that you protect yourself against the Arabs. My dad always used to have chocolate, nuts and grapes at his house. When I was at preschool, there was always a parent who'd dress up as Santa Claus before Christmas. He would call out the children's name and give you a Christmas present, like a tangerine. I was always sure that it was my dad who was Santa Claus. I could tell by his accent. The other kids didn't believe me because their parents also had accents. So we would get into a fight. Staroci, jak zwykle, cały program trąci myszką. O, szwedzka telewizja. Takich starych żydowskich stereotypów nie widziałam od dawna. Sara jest mała, ale może to na nią wpływa. Jak myślisz? When I was 12, my dad disappeared. No one knew where he was. I used to call him on the phone, over and over again, even though no one would answer. 